Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable disk with Mac OS Ventura. Now here are the requirements. First, we need at least 32 gig flash drive. If you have more than that, it should be okay. We need Balena Etcher. We need Mini 2 Partition Wizard. We need Explorer Plus Plus. We need Mac OS Installer Image File and we also need an EFI file based on our system. Now the first thing to do is to check your hardware, your CPU to know which EFI file you should download. So hold Ctrl Shift Escape. And then you can click on Performance. Now you can click on your CPU and you can see over here, mine is Core i5 4570 CPU 3.20 GHz. Now this is a 4th generation CPU because you can see it starts from 4. So make sure you confirm your CPU and the code name associated with it because when you want to download the EFI file, it will be needed. Now we can close this. Now these are the files we need. You can see over here, the link to each and every one of these files is provided in the video description so you can download yourself. Now the first thing we have to do is connect our flash drive to our PC and in my case, this is my flash drive which is about 64 gigabytes. So the first thing we have to do is to create a bootable disk and to do that we are going to use Balena Etcher. So let's install it, double click on it. Now you can see we have to select the image file and from our downloaded files, this is our image file Ventura 13.2.1 which is also available in the description of this video. So we are going to click on flash from file. And then select the image file. Okay, so select the image file, open. Now you can click on change and this is where you select your USB drive. So my USB drive is selected. Click on select and now click on flash. Now this will take some time but you just have to wait patiently. The process has been completed, so we can now close Balena Etcher. Let's open our download folder again. Now we have to open Mini 2 Partition. So this is Mini 2 Partition Wizard. So double click on it to run this software. Click on Run. Now we are going with the free version, so click on continue using the free version and then next. Let's turn off this. Next. Now click on finish to launch mini partition 2. And here we go. So if you look closely, you can see Dix3, which is our flash drive 58.98 gig. And then you can see a partition here called EFI. Now right click on this partition called EFI and then click on change letter. So assign another letter to this partition so you can easily recognize it. So I'm just going to give it X. Click on OK. And then click on apply. Click on yes and we are done. Click on OK and then close. So we are done with Belena HR and Mini 2 partition. Now the next thing we have to do is to get our EFI files. So let's extract our EFI files over here. Remember the link to these files is in the video description so you can download each and every one of these files. And then let's extract Explorer Plus Plus as well. Right click, extract. Okay, so let's open Explorer Plus Plus and then click on Explorer Plus Plus. Right click, run as administrator. Now locate the drive over here EFI X. You can see which we changed the letter. 
and then delete everything here just select everything right click and then delete yes okay yes and we're done with that now locate the efi folder so let's go to our download and then you can see this is our efi folder so copy the entire efi folder right here copy let's head to our efi x and then paste it there now after that we can close and we are ready to boot into mac os and begin the installation if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one